2015 international wrestling season nearing its conclusion, all eyes are on the capital of Azerbaijan in the Baku Sports Hall for the 2015 Golden Grand Prix Finals. Not only were wrestlers searching for their share of the largest grand prize monetary glitter of the international campaign, but more importantly, the chance to represent their country and lower the curtain on the eve of an Olympic year and continue their country's journey to the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. Russia struck for the first of two gold medals on the opening day as Ismail Muskayev matched up against Mongolia's Bekbayar Erdenbot. Offense was hard to come by as both athletes searched for any type of crevice or crack. Late in the match, with inside a minute to go, Muskayev was able to launch a double leg attack and get the four points on the border of the mat. The Baku Sports Hall was filled with anticipation for the event as 62 countries and over 300 wrestlers converged on the multi-day event with the opening day featuring the sports best in men's freestyle. Trailing late in the match, a late double underhook attempt fell empty by Erdenbot and Russia claimed the first of two gold medals in the men's freestyle division. Belaliyle bu final görüşünde Rusya Federasyası temsilcisi İsmail Musuklayev galip gelir ve yarışların kızıl medalına layık görülür. The bronze at 61 kilos did not take long to decide as Kakistan's Dalet Ninshebekov raced out to a large early lead against Andre Davila from Venezuela. A quick two and then a firm lock allowed the Kakistanian wrestler to dominate from the get-go in a series of turns as he thrilled the crowd with a series of rolls and building an insurmountable lead against the young Venezuelan. Davila had no answer as he found himself working from the bottom of the match all afternoon long. Trailing six to nothing, Ninshebekov went for the final tally with one more time, a series of rolls back and forth to secure the early victory and the technical superiority. To the crowd's approval, Dowlet Ninshebekov, your bronze medalist at 61 kilos. The second Russian gold medal of the day came at 65 kilos with Magomed Kurbanaliev doubling up the four-time USA NCAA champion Logan Stieber. Stieber, in fact, had pulled off one of the surprises of the tournament when he knocked off Kurbanaliev's Russian teammate and 2014 world champion Slaslan Romanov in a wild 14-13 quarterfinal bout. In one of the most competitive weight divisions, the Russian exacted revenge on the upstart American by jumping out to an early barrage and lead, taking a 6-0 advantage. Stieber tried to battle back as he was able to get a four-point move. In a match filled with high energy and quick twitch scramble situations, the veteran Russians seem to always come out on top. Stieber battled to the end, but could never corral Kurbanaliev and erased the early deficit, coming up short in a variety of attacks. The 2013 world's bronze medalist Kurbanaliev never trailed 
and will leave Baku with the distinction of claiming the Golden Grand Prix Championship at 65 kilos. <laughs> The 70 kilo bronze medal match featured Japan's TK Takojima and Turkey's Keaya Mustafa. After a scoreless two minutes, Takajima shot in on a powerful double leg to get the two and the lead on the edge of the mat. However, little did the Japanese wrestler realize that this would be his final points of the match as Mustafa was able to find his treading, find his traction, and more importantly, a wandering single toward the edge of the mat and with the proper elevation and the quick swipe of the foot, execute the trip to tie it up at two apiece. Mustafa wasn't satisfied with the 2-2 tie as he continued to go to work on a series of gut wrenches to get the two and the lead, a lead he would never relinquish. He kept the momentum rolling with a familiar combo once again, attacking Takajima's leg and sealing the trip and also sealing the bronze for the country of Turkey. Turkey's Keaya Mustafa, your bronze medal winner at 70 kilos, taking down Japan's TK Takajima. This roar of the weekend might have occurred in the gold medal bout at 74, featuring 2014 Russian world champion Katik Sablov and fan favorite Jabril Hasanov of Azerbaijan. Now concern initially swept throughout the hollows of the Baku Sports Hall after the Russian was able to secure a takedown and drop immediately into effective ankle lace for a series of points, stunning the fan favorite. Asanov never panicked and started to chip away at the deficit, spearheaded by a big time double leg to close it down to a two point deficit. The barrage continued to the approval of the Azerbaijan faithful as Asanov strung together back to back attacks to complete the 10 nothing barrage and give the host country its third gold medal in the freestyle division. A big time performance in the closing seconds and quite a rally to give Azerbaijan some bragging rights in the freestyle division of the 2015 Grand Prix Championships. A blending of former world and Olympic champions highlighted the field for the women's freestyle tournament on day two. The bronze medal match of 55 kilos showcased some early offense and dominance from the People's Republic of Korea and In Soon Jung. 
An early takedown by Jong, and she was off and running and keeping her Tunisian opponent, TK Ayari, at bay. A constant arsenal of quickness and power allowed Jong to get a series of rollovers and build an early lead. Leading comfortably 7-0, Ayari's attacks continued to fall short, and a quick snap down by Jong sealed the deal, and the end result was a dominant 11-0 technical superiority victory over Ayari. The rollover, the finish, and the bronze for the People's Republic of Korea, and in soon Jong. Pull your seat belts. The wildest match in the women's freestyle occurred in the battle for gold at 58 between Kyrgyzstan's Ice Ulu Timbekova and Hungary's MC Barka. The former world bronze medalist spotted Timbekova an early lead and appeared to be on the ropes in the opening period. A lightning quick double leg attack by Timbekova and she led 2-0. The Kyrgyzstan's wrestler continued to keep the heat on for the entire opening two and a half minutes. Another effective single leg shot and perfect execution as she showed the patience necessary to take down and get the elevation of the leg on the edge of the mat. And Timbekova led 6-0, not even two and a half minutes into the first period. As fans watched in disbelief, Timbekova continued her assault and another takedown and what appeared to be an insurmountable nine to one lead. The light finally seemed to kick on for Barca at the four and a half minute mark on a powerful counter attack to get the momentum rolling. With the clock winding down, fans at the Baku Sports Hall knew that time was running out for the European Games gold medalist. It turned out the veteran Hungarian wrestler knew exactly how much time she had left to uncork the day's biggest comeback. Trailing 10-8 with just eight seconds to go, the final throw in her first lead of the match, precise timing and another gold medal for Barca to close out quite a 2015 calendar year. The look said it all, a look of belief and quite a match from Barca of Hungary, rallying from eight down to claim the gold and head into 2016 with all sorts of momentum. The Chinese, Americans, and Russians did not disappoint in the women's competition. The three countries led the way with a pair of gold medals each, and it was star-studded showdown at 60 kilos for gold as the United States' Ali Reagan matched up against China's Ziaojin Liu. The Chinese wrestler proved to be too much for the young American and did not allow any openings for the aggressive Reagan to exploit. The patience, the low single, and the early two to give Lou the early 3-0 lead. Time and time again, Reagan's attempted shots were fended off, and the Chinese celebrated their second gold medal of the tournament. 
Reagan continued to apply the pressure, but it seemed like every time she tried to generate some type of offense, the Chinese wrestler Liu had her way, was able to defend it effectively and maintain her lead throughout the match. The Chinese women, the dynasty, the legacy, and the gold medal at 60 kilos. The 69 kilo division looked to be one of the deepest on paper with four of the 12 entries having earned world championships in the past. Reigning Las Vegas world champion Natalia Vorbova looked to rediscover the magic she had back in September in winning the world title matched up against Sweden's Jenny Franzone. The 2012 London Olympic gold medalist Vorobova secured an early point in the shot clock situation as Franzone was unable to find an opening in the 30-second window and the Russian had a 1-0 lead. The defensive theme continued for the talented Russian as she was able to showcase her flexibility and strength in latching the only takedown of the match. Franzone continued to put the heat on. Heavy pressure on the neck, heavy pressure on the attack, but the flexibility and the strength of Vorobova was showcased late in the match when it looked like Franzone might be able to pull off some late magic. The world champion successfully denied the attack and capped off an incredible 2015 with another gold medal and momentum heading to Rio and the 2016 Olympic Games. The crowd in Baku showed their approval. Another gold medal, and Russia continued to roll. The Islamic Republic of Iran and the United States of America kicked off the festivities on the final day of competition with the sport's oldest style of wrestling, Greco-Roman. American Jesse Felke looked to continue a late season surge against Mekrod Mardani. The match's biggest moment came in the opening seconds right after the whistle. Felke unleashed a barrage on the Iranian veteran only to see Mardani counter with a four-point throw and the rivalry was off and running. The action slowed down considerably after the initial outburst until late in the second period when Velke strung a chain of throws together to lock up the victory and give the United States its only medal in the Greco-Roman division. Jesse Felke in the United States, victorious in the Greco-Roman division in Baku. Germany's Frank Stabler made a triumphant return to Baku at 71 and finished the 2015 circuit with a loud bang. Stabler was looking for a golden finish to the year, an impressive third straight gold after winning the Pitslansky tournament in Poland in July and the world's title in September. Standing in his way was fan favorite from Azerbaijan, Rustam Aliyev. Fans were getting anxious after not a lot of action in the first period. The turning point occurred when Aliyev was hit with passivity, giving the world champion a chance to work on parterre. With the gut wrench firmly applied, Stabler was able to show some patience and get the raise of the stubborn Aliyev and stretch the mat all the way to the borders to get the only two points and secure his third straight title. The patience, the power, 
and quite a roll for Stabler as he locked his grip, positioned the throw, and secured it perfectly. win would be bittersweet for Stabler after placing third in Baku back in June in the inaugural European Games. Not only a gold for the German, but some welcome prize money for the first time in his career. Germany's Frank Stabler continues to keep it going. Another gold medal, this time in the Golden Grand Prix. In another gold medal matchup at 75, World of Olympic Games champion Kim Hyun Woo from Korea recovered from his 10th place finish at the Worlds in Las Vegas, capturing the 75 kilo crown as he defeated the Islamic Republic of Iran's P. Bova Ripayani. After a prolonged defensive battle, a passivity call gave the Korean a chance to score the match's first points, and he certainly did not disappoint. Eon Wu has been so tough on top through the years, a big reason for his success. And he was able to latch on to a reverse gut wrench and eventually leveraging his position and sending his opponent vertically into the air for the match's first points. Eon Wu continued to apply the pressure and eventually the vertical extension of his opponent led to the vertical extension of his arm in victory for Korea and Kim Hyun Woo. <laughs> The host Azerbaijan faithful were getting restless with only three bronze medalists and no gold late into the finals day competition. Rafig Husseinov hoped to change the fortunes of the host country's mood by battling Lasha Gobadze of Georgia for the 80 kilo gold. The fireworks started early in a quick flash of athleticism and explosion. The big throw by Husseinov had the crowd into it early. Hussainov continued to work and apply pressure and thought he had secured another throw at the edge of the mat, only to run out of room by the slimmest of margins. That sequence turned out to be pivotal later in the match as Susainov was tagged with passivity, giving Gobadze the crack he needed to try to generate some late offense and silence the ruckus Baku Sports Hall crowd. With less than two minutes to go in the match, Gobadze worked his craft and went to the gut wrench to get the turn and the big four-point equalizer.
A series of four-point throws that went to criteria, and the match goes to Lasha Gobadze as he put the Azerbaijan celebration on hold for the time being. Azerbaijan ended up with two gold medals of both 98 and 130 as seven different countries took their spot atop the Baku Grand Prix Championships in Greco-Roman. An amazing weekend of action and a terrific farewell to 2015 with all eyes now firmly entrenched on the rapidly approaching Olympic year and the hopes and legacies of the world's elite.